Kilo, Kilo 4, Victor Alpha. Kilo, Kilo 4, Victor Alpha. What's the name there? Alpha. What's the name there? Napier Scan, Kilo Echo November. Uh, Roger Ken, and whereabouts are you located, sir? Uh, Roger Ken, and whereabouts are you located, sir? Roanoke, Virginia. Roger, Roger, Virginia, then. What radio are you running? Roger, Virginia, then. What radio are you running? Uh, Elecraft K3. Uh, roger that. And uh, tell me about your antenna system in about 15 seconds. System in about 15 seconds. I have a butter uh, nine band vertical. <laughs> Gosh, I need a little more time looking at your audio, trying to figure out uh, what your audio looks like, Roger. Uh, what your audio looks like, Roger. Okay. Another man of few words. <laughs> this, uh, this hobby is all about words, sir. Uh, uh, tell me something about your radio that you like. Tell me something about your radio that you like. Well, I can tell you that I was... Would... Well, I tell you, I get shot down here about the time we get somewhere. Um, the uh, SDR Milford uh, cuts me off, and uh, I got to start from bring that back up again. So just uh, hang on here just a second. Let me um, come back with uh, Milford here. I think she'll let me come back. Yes, yes. All uh, right. And. I'm not sure. We get kicked off for various reasons. Inattention or too much time. They <laughs> they both go hand in hand. So, uh, so Ken, do uh, you still copy? They both go hand in hand. So, uh, yeah, I'm still copy, Ken. All right, buddy. Um, gosh, uh, I can't get enough audio out of you to tell you uh, what's going on. You're going to have to talk to me a little bit, Roger. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm looking at your audio, but... Uh, uh, what I'm looking for is the repetitiveness of your peaks, specifically. And if the if there's no repetitive, the, you know, I, I, I can't do anything. So I need something. I need about 10 or 15 seconds of uh, you telling me something so I can see your peaks and see what's happening there. Peaks and see what's happening there. Okay, well, what I said before was I, w I was using a Raspberry Pi computer here. Uh, to do digital mode, I decided to make a backup of the little drive that's on it, but inadvertently erase the whole drive. You don't have to redo it. Ah, so uh, those are uh, are um, you have to reprogram the uh, the program on the on the uh, the, the uh, device. The, the uh, device. Well, there's just a little uh, micro SD card with this hard drive. And it's 32 gigabytes, and so I had to reload the uh, operating system, and now I'm going to put all the programs back on it. Uh, Roger, Roger. Okay, uh, I've uh, copied you a little bit there, so um, I, I suggest uh, that, uh, number one, uh, you need your compressor on at about a three. Uh, Roger, Roger. Compressor on at about a three. Compressor on at about a three. My compressor was at 11, and I put it on three. Well, well. Uh, Ken, what we're talking about is uh, like if your um, if your input level is uh, like a, um, a zero to ten, put it on a three. If your input level is a zero to a hundred, put it on thirty. What we're looking for is about a third of the capabilities of the compressor, Roger. Capabilities of the compressor, Roger. Okay, so that would be around where I had around twelve. Yeah, uh, in other words, uh, about a third of its capabilities uh, is what we're looking for. Very, uh, not very much, uh, but uh, it does exactly what it needs to do, Roger. See what it needs to do, Roger. Yeah, mine goes from 1 to 40, so I've got it set at uh, 13 now. Yeah, that sounds ballpark. Okay, so then uh, move to your ALC with mic gain in hand, and as you speak naturally into your microphone, adjust your mic level control until your ALC meter is running mid-scale to two-thirds. You're just speaking naturally like you normally do, not uh, whistling or, uh, or none of that. You just speak naturally and adjust your mic gain until your ALC meter is running mid-scale to two-thirds. Okay, let me find the ALC meter here. One, two, three, four, five. 
one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, three, four, five, one, two, 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 three, uh, well, whatever you did, your level is looking to be about uh, 3 dB. Um, again, uh, you know, the more you speak, the easier I can uh, diagnose what's going on, Roger. Diagnose what's going on, Roger. Okay, what does it look like now? Is it uh, still about 3 dB? Well, you, have, uh, you had one overshoot. What I'm looking for is a repetitive uh, peak level. That is, that uh, on your peaks, the, the level is precise in coming to a certain place on each peak over a period of words. And uh, when you have overshoots through that, then it indicates that, uh, number one, either your ALC level is not correct or, uh, you know, because the ALC is... Um, Looking at the output of your uh, limiter, actually, now the limiter is not something that you can address directly, but you can address it by way of the uh, mic gain control. And uh, so when you are running an average of mid-scale to two-thirds, you're not going to get a bunch of punch-through, uh, like a 3 dB or 4 dB punch-through that. And I did see one of those uh, just, uh, just a moment ago, Roger. Just a moment ago, Roger. Okay, now I just turned it down a bit. Um, uh, am I getting? Uh, am I going above where I'm supposed to be now? That looked uh, pretty good right there. Now you you don't have any um, uh, a vox uh, or any um, what is that uh, where your audio is uh, muted between words? Uh, you're not running any of that, right? No, you're not running any of that, right? I have an equalizer. Well, when you pass the equalizer, uh, you're not running any um, uh, noise uh, reduction in your audio outboard, Roger? Oh, outboard, Roger? Uh, not that I know of. Roger, some of the attacks just seemed just a little... Uh, little strange but anyway it's it's looking like uh, you know pretty well your 3 dB dynamic range and that's what we're looking for now I know the uh, the k3 has uh, a, a a very uh, complex uh, equalizer is that a Roger the equalizer is that a Roger 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 yeah and I don't want to really get into all that <laughs> all I can say is uh, at your you know sometime uh, Coming up, but that's a uh, that's a uh, ten ten band, Roger. Ten, ten band, Roger. It's uh, two, I think it's eight band. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight band equalizer. Yeah, okay. Uh, so uh, let me just say this about that. <laughs> Help! <laughs> no, it's, but it's, uh, you know, the more complex the equalizer, the more difficult it is to try to uh, to do it uh, this way. But what I'm going to suggest to you is that uh, I think the top end of that equalizer is uh, 16K. Is that a Roger? 16K, is that a Roger? Roger, Roger. Okay, I would uh, advance that, uh, although theoretically there's nothing there as far as what we're talking about, I would advance that, uh, uh, I'm assuming that you're in a flat position on uh, 16, 8, and 4K at the top. Are you flat or, or do you, are you boosting or cutting? Are you boosting or cutting? I'm flat at 400, 800, 16, 24, 32. Ah, well, I, yeah, I do suggest that uh, everyone should, you know, be flat in the mid-range. Because the whole thing about an equalizer is that uh, you're trying to find balance between the mid-range to, to the high frequencies and the mid-range to the low frequencies. And if you boost the mid-range, then there goes your reference point, and it's so much harder for the top end to catch up for balance and the bottom end to catch up for balance. So as much as possible, you want to keep, like if you had a three-band EQ, you would want to keep the, uh, the middle frequency uh, uh, flat, and that way it would be easier for the uh, top end and the bottom end to catch up with that. In your case where you have multiple eight uh, equalizers, um, I would say anything from 800 cycles to uh, one point, uh, let's see, do you have a 1K? Let's see, do you have a 1K? I have 800 and 1600, 2400, 
3,200. Yeah, uh, okay, I would say uh, eight, 800 cycles flat for sure, and uh, that uh, 1.6 is what it is, uh, 1.6 of flat uh, for sure. And uh, then uh, uh, again, we're looking to try to boost up that top end a little bit. So I would say something in the, um, let's see, 8, 1.6, uh, 3200. I would go a 32 uh, plus uh, 4. 32 uh, uh, 3.2 uh, kilohertz at uh, plus 4. Roger. At uh, plus 4. Roger. Roger. Okay. I just turn that one off. Okay. Just uh, talk to me for about 5 seconds. Talk to me for about 5 seconds. Um, I just uh, increased 3.2 up to about a point four, I guess. Okay, uh, a little bit more. Give me uh, uh, another uh, uh, bit of uh, EQ there. Maybe uh, two clicks hotter than where you are on 3.2. Hotter than where you are on 3.2. Okay, I'm about, I think I'm around an 8 right now. Okay, and uh, tell me uh, something that you, uh, you like about your antenna system. You like about your antenna system? I like the fact that it's nine bands and uh, they're pretty much all less than two. Roger, Ken. Well, I think we've uh, probably done the best we can. You might want to move your uh, uh, 3.2, 6.4. You might want to move it up uh, to about to the same as you did the 3.2, Roger. As you did the 3.2, Roger. Yeah, okay. I'll move it up to the 3.2. I'm sorry, I was on the wrong SDR. Repeat that. I was on the wrong SDR. Repeat that. I said I moved the 2.4. Up the same as the 3.2. Uh, Roger, Roger. Yeah, that. Uh, be careful about that 2.4 because uh, that is uh, a, um, a frequency that can be very, very irritating. I usually uh, keep that um, uh, minimum and, and try to get a little bit more brightness uh, as opposed to that uh, upper mids uh, at the uh, uh, 3.3.2. Roger, are your the three point uh, control. Uh, control. Okay, I've got the 2.4 now at about uh, 4, and the 3.2 is at about 8. Yeah, that sounds good. I think I'd leave it right there, sir. Uh, that's just uh, probably about as much as I care to do on an 8 band EQ at the moment, Roger. 8 band EQ at the moment, Roger. Roger, Roger. Yeah, it sounds good. Sounds good. And uh, thanks uh, for checking by, Roger. Uh, for checking by, Roger. Okay, I'll let you go help somebody else. Seven three, thanks a lot. Yes, sir. Three to you, sir. And uh, if you get a chance to join us next uh, Friday, and again, if you want to hear your audio, uh, if you go to YouTube and do that call letter search for Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, that uh, will take you to our QSO VLOG page. And on that page, uh, you'll be looking for my group, AirCheck 8. 2180. Uh, <laughs> well, let's try that again. You'll be looking for an entity called My Group Aircheck 82120, which is uh, the numbers are date reference. That is today's date, 82120. My Group Aircheck. Roger. 20, my Group Aircheck. Roger. Roger, Roger. Thanks a lot.